everyone welcome back to my channel Shayna here um, I just wanted to hop on and we're gonna do a color and chat today uh, I hope you guys are doing well we will be working out of Chibi Girls Grayscale books one and two or two and one books um, and while I was going back and forth on what page to do I thought about doing this one finally sucking it up and doing this one because I love it so much then I saw her so I figured we can try and maybe do, like kill two birds with one stone, um, do a color and chat, and also knock out a page for Mermaid. Um, I haven't done one for them yet, for that color along yet, excuse me, and I'm not sure exactly who hosted that one. I know a bunch of people did live streams like the first weekend in May for Mermaid Madness, um, but I don't know who originated it. So. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this and we're going to at least start with our alcohol markers um, and then we can always go back in and add details and things. But I really like to use the alcohol markers in this book. So we will go ahead and get started here. Let's put that in there. Awesome. So how is everybody? It has been a week. I'm just going to make sure that this marker works. This marker that I'm using is a Touch New marker. And the, I know I use my Cali Arts a lot, but this was the one of the first markers. Um, well, actually the first set of alcohol markers that I have, I had purchased. Um, and I, mm, I had mixed feelings about them. Half of them, I think it was the 80 set. Um, at least a quarter of them were dead on arrival, so they didn't work. Um, and then a lot of them died over time, but like over a short period of time. So I don't know, not too happy with these, but the select few that I do have that um, do work, I, I try to use. Um, but again, it's out of the 80, I probably have 20 left. So not too many. Um, so I'm going to use some of these and I'm going to use my, mostly my Cali Arts. Um, but I wanted to do, I wanted her to be really whimsical, so I wanted to do her skin pink. Um, so that's why I have grabbed this marker and this is the, oh, there's no, oh, there it is. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pastel pink. It's number 17. So we're going to go ahead and go in here with her skin. So hopefully I'm not too quiet for you guys while doing this skin part. So anyway, how is everyone? Let's zoom you guys in a little bit, hopefully. I've been having some issues with this. And my hair is in the way, I'm sorry. Let's see, how's that? That is pretty good, oh, wrong way. There we go. So, yeah, how is everybody? What are you guys working on? It has been a week. <laughs> Mostly a good week. Um, I actually have some stuff to talk about. But some of it... Ooh, I am not... I think my light just flickered. So I do um, have a little bit better of a setup today, it looks like. I've got actual natural light. It's not pouring down rain. Um, it's been raining, oh my god, mostly all week. It rained yesterday. Oh, it went out of the line. Darn. So, if you go out of the line, like that, especially, whoa, I pulled both caps off. My mistake. Let's see. There we go. So, if you go out of the line like that, oh my goodness, what just happened? The entire bottom of this marker came off, guys. <laughs> oh no, I've never seen that happen before. Okay, let's see. I'll mess with that in a second. It can stay open for 10 seconds. Um, <clears throat> if you have a marker set, I'm going to move some stuff around. Marker drive by. Um, with a colorless, colorless blender, quotes. Um, it's not really going to help you blend, but it will take pigment away. It's usually number zero, so my Cali Arts at zero. So I'm just going to take this and see if it'll at least take some of that pink between her fingers. Oh gosh, I really went out of the lines. I haven't worked with these markers in a while, especially the chisel tip. Um, I'm trying, and it looks like it worked. I'm trying to work with the chisel tip, guys. 
Yesterday I did two pictures in color by numbers and um, I used my chisel tip mostly. So I'm trying to get a little bit better with that. I still have some bleed through, but again, this thing, this blender thing is pretty good at taking away the pigment. So we'll see how her hand dries there. And I'm not worried about a line here because her bracelet's there anyway. Sorry, I keep scratching my nose. My nose has been really itchy lately. Um, I think, oh gosh, I don't know how I'm going to get that out, guys. I'm going to be really gross and use my teeth for the time being. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, I don't know how I'm going to get the cap back on this marker. Okay, we'll deal with it later. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Have you guys ever seen that meme where the house is on fire and I think it's a dog, he's sitting there and he's like, it's fine, Every I'm fine, everything's fine. That's how it feels <laughs> with this marker right now. And I like this color, I don't want it to dry out. So we got, well, no, we didn't. I thought we got some pliers yesterday, but we didn't. But I think we might have some, something, hopefully, to get it out. Um... Real quick, more about the coloring. This is on Amazon paper, so that's why the markers bleed so bad. Well, not so bad, but that is why they are bleeding like they are. And also, my lack of skill. <laughs> um, I have learned a lot from Anne at A Colorful Life with how she colors her skin. So I'm going to get back to the chisel tip here. And just try not, trying to go back and forth like when you have places like this and my hand is in the way. Let's see if I can turn you this way a little bit. I'm so sorry guys. Didn't realize that. Where you're kind of going, there's like indents and stuff. Like I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna, I might have a streak right here, but I'm gonna try to go back here and just alternate back and forth. I'm going to go back to her arm and go down to the fin. Try to keep my hand out of the way. I got the dolphin, but he's going to be a gray anyway, so I don't think it's going to matter much. So there's that, and now I can go back to her belly. And I think I'm going to switch back to the bullet nib. Sorry this part isn't very chatty, but I really am trying not to get streaks on her skin. But it might happen anyway, and if it does, it's fine. It's just coloring. I'm just trying to learn how to do it, so. And this is a brighter pink than I thought, but I don't care. <laughs> She's a mermaid. She can be whatever color I want her to be. So can regular people, I mean. Really guys, color whatever you want, however you want. I'm really, really, just seeing other people do that has really inspired me to do that. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to color her pink. And I got her bangle a little bit there, the bracelet, but I think I might go over those in gel pen. So, cool. Okay, I think I can talk more now, just talk. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a week. It's been a pretty good week. Um, I've been trying to stay not off of social media, but just, I don't know guys, my heart breaks <laughs> when I watch the news. I don't want to get into it. I'm not that kind of channel, but I do have my own opinions and my heart just is wrenched. <laughs> with all the things with George Floyd and senseless things that should never have happened. Um, but again, I don't, I'm getting like checked up about it, so I don't want to talk about it. Um, especially a place like this where we're here to have fun and color. So I might get quiet again cause we're going on her face. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm not, I don't really want to chat about that. Ooh, I shouldn't yeah, pink in her eye. I thought that was skin, but it looks like it was her eye. Again, colorless blender to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get quiet here for a second, guys. I just want to get her face done. 
with minimal streaks. When I'm done here, I'll flip the page over and show you the one beside it that I have done because I think, I think that her skin came out pretty good, but I can't remember. So we'll find out together. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to stay off of, I guess I shouldn't say I've been trying to stay off of, but I'm trying to decompress a lot after I encounter all the media. So I have been doing quite a bit of coloring. Um, I've really been, uh, what have I done this week? I'm trying to think in like chronological order, like um, from last time we talked, which was last t Tuesday, which speaking of, I apologize I didn't get that video up on Monday. I had some technical difficulties that day. My camera, my phone and my iPad and all that. I hope my head's, uh, no, you can't see my head. Um, they were out of date. Well, not out of date, but they had updates that needed to be done, which I didn't realize because it didn't alert me for whatever reason. And it's supposed to be automatic updates, so I don't understand that. But it didn't update, so then my videos weren't transferring to my computer. And it was all very frustrating. Oh, I like that. So, um, so yeah, so that was really, I'm going to go in and clean up here really really annoying and I was struggling with that and then something else fought me a long way I can't even remember but yeah that's why the video wasn't up right away on Monday like I wanted it to be so today is actually Sunday so I'm filming a day in advance in case, from now on in case I have issues with that um yeah so that's how it's gonna be I don't know what to do with this marker <laughs> um we're gonna keep the blender handy. So yeah, um, it was a time. Let me see. I had, I did write something down in my little notebook here about it. I don't remember what I wrote. All my notes, all my messy handwriting. Well, maybe I didn't, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so that was fun. Okay, let's think about color scheme here. So I'd really like to at least get all of the marker down on this page with you guys today, but we will see if that happens um i would really i really hope I, it does happen though um let's actually go with her eyes i think i want to make them green let's see what color green i kind of want to do i want to keep her in like the pastel -y kind of stage but i want her eyes to pop but i don't want it to be too dark let's see i kind of want to do that but i also kind of want to like do her tail that color Ooh, maybe the chartreuse green, that's pretty. That'd be pretty in her eyes, I think, with that skin. Let's try it. Let's just try it. D915, let's find the marker. Um, so yeah, so anyway, a little uh, rambling on. Um, is that it, or is that 515? 515. Um, sorry friends, searching, sometimes it's hard to see them in this, but yeah, so I've just been kind of watching a lot of YouTube and trying to get away from like actual media, but the, uh, yesterday, yesterday, well, Wednesday, um, I don't know if you guys watch the news or anything, but they, uh, SpaceX, which is the company owned by Elon Musk, they, um, had a launch that they were supposed to do on um, Wednesday and of course Florida had different ideas and decided to um, uh, rain all day and storm all day so they weren't able to get it off the ground um, they were close but they they didn't have it wasn't safe so they there it is right beside 515 of course um, so they didn't do it it wasn't safe enough um, so it was rescheduled for Saturday and I live in Orlando um, and that's not super duper far from Cape Canaveral, um, where the Kennedy Space Center is. <clears throat> so I was like, well, I'm not going to go down there. It was freaking packed, you guys, on the news coverage yesterday. It was packed. Like, I was like, oh my god. Like, I get its history, but I'm not risking my health for that. So, um, we were told that it was going to be, like... 
we could maybe see it from Disney property. So we thought about driving down there and just parking in the cast parking lot. Um, but, and we'll get into this later. I was cleaning and I was like, you know what? We can probably, if we're going to see it, we'll be able to see it from outside of our door. So I turned on the news coverage and we were watch watching and waiting for the um, launch and we went outside and we didn't see anything. <laughs> But nobody from property saw it either. It was just too cloudy. Um, but it was really fun to try. Um, and hopefully maybe one day we will see one from our apartment. But yesterday wasn't that day. But it was still, we still streamed it. I had it on my phone as we wa watched outside and we watched them go up. And it was like crazy. I can't even imagine for those of you guys who are around um during the moon landing like how cool that was because watching that yesterday i've never seen that before um not that i can recall like i know we've gone into space i think in the last decade but um i don't remember that so i'm just looking for a color for in here i do like to color in there so we're gonna go with a do i want to go with blue or do i want to go with a lighter green i don't want to go with a lighter green Maybe this horizon green. That looks good. G012. Um, oh, right there. So, yeah. So, that was awesome. That was a highlight of the week. That was really cool. Um, and I just saw... I didn't read the article, but I saw it when I woke up this morning that they have landed on the space station. And I think they said that they're going to be up there for at least a month. Which is nuts to me. I don't know. I don't ever want to be skyrocketed into space, that's for sure. No, thank you. Ooh. I, I said it and I'll say it again. If this earth goes down, I'm going down with it because I am not leaving for space. No, thank you. We don't know enough about it. I don't want to be rocketed out like that. I, mm -mm, not for me. Kudos to everybody who does it, who's smart enough to do it, but heck no, not for me. I have this olive green color. I'm thinking about using it on her crown and then just going over it with glitter gel pen. I think I'm gonna do that. So, yeah. No, mm -mm. no thank you. <laughs> I will pass. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Other than that, I, yeah, the news has just been all sad. So, I don't wanna watch it. I've been watching a lot of YouTube. Um, since we're coloring in a Jude Summer Grayscale, I watched Michelle at Kids and Caboodles, and she colored in the Alice Grayscale book, which I need. Um, if you can't tell by the name, I love Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's so weird, and there's so many renditions of it that I just really like it, and I just like the play on words, Alice in Wonderland, Shana in Colorland. So if you've read the description, you know that I've tried to make puns, and I'm still, like, dead set on calling you guys something once I get more subscribers um, which speaking of thank you so much to my new subscribers we're almost at 60 woohoo I know it's not a big milestone but that's exciting to me so I really appreciate you guys thank you guys for watching um, you apparently really really like that haul video that I did um, that one has the most views of my new videos I believe welcome to colorland still has the most views um, but of the new ones, that one has the most, which is awesome. Um, so I do have more hauls for you guys. <laughs> Yesterday, oh my gosh, I was expecting one package and I got three. So I, um, I'm sorry if I'm casting a shadow. It might be my phone casting a shadow. But, uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, my Amazon haul will be here today. And that's only four books. And then... Last week sometime, I ordered, no, it was not last week, it was longer than that. I ordered, um, we're going to do her bracelets the same color. I made a big order from Book Outlet. Um, I ordered a lot of Zen Doodle books, so you guys will see those soon as well. Um, and I really need to get out my George Defects' flip through. That's making me crazy. Um... So I will have that up this week, I promise. Um, what you can expect this week, you might get four videos. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to say this and then I'll get back to the book outlet thing. Um, it's a color and chat, which you're watching right now. 
Um, the next video will be my finishes for May. And then after that, um, I have uh, one diamond painting arrived. I have another diamond painting that I want to unbox with it, which again, we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so you can expect that probably Friday and then somewhere in between there, there's hair everywhere. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Oh no, please focus. Um, so somewhere in there, I'm going to um, do the George TFXs book. So yeah. Um, but anyway, back to book outlet. So yeah, so I ordered a bunch of books um, and let's go with the dolphin because I want to do him this blue gray color. Geo3. Um, right there, perfect. Oops, sliding. Um, we'll see. He might get streaky. No promises on this one. But anyway, so we're gonna, uh, that's the plan for this week. And then back to book outlet. Oh, I really lost my train of thought there. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Um, yeah, so I ordered a bunch of Zen Doodle coloring books, and then I was like, they're not the best at updating their tracking. I don't know if it's FedEx. I don't know who they come by, but they are, n I thought it was UPS. Um, they are not the best at updating their tracking. I checked it the other day and it was like, oh, it'll be here Monday. And then they show up yesterday. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I'm glad to have them, but I wasn't expecting all of these books. Guys, I got 15 books yesterday altogether. 15, <laughs> like, who am I? But the um, book outlet ones were cheap. Like, I don't think I paid more than $5 for a book. Um, so I'm very excited about them. Um, some of them I might in the future give away. We'll see. I've just decided that if I, there's one or two, well, one that I'm sure I'm going to give away because I just, I bought it on a whim. It was cheap again and I was just like the this is not something I'm gonna color so that one will be a giveaway eventually I don't know please don't get your hopes up it won't be anytime soon but eventually I've already just been looking at some stuff that I could maybe get so anyway um yeah we're gonna go over that barnacle with a darker color so that's fine um he's gonna be streaky oh and I said I was gonna show you the other page oh well um so yes, what else? what was I talking about? Oh, book outlet. Yeah, so I got a lot of Deborah Muller. I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I am going to do a haul video. I got four books from Amazon, so you'll see that haul first, and then um, you will see the uh, book outlet haul. And yeah, that was 11 books. <laughs> but it was worth it. So many of them are so cute, but I uh, have decided that if I don't color them by the time I hit my goal for the giveaway, um, I will just give them away um, eventually. So yeah, but I'm gonna wait till at least 100 subscribers. Um, maybe not even then, maybe, we'll see. Um, if people, because right now, and I'm grateful for you guys just for watching, but I would really, really love some interaction. Um, so if I have enough people that are interested in commenting, then yeah, I'll do a giveaway. If I don't, then, then I won't, and I'll wait until I have more subscribers and more interaction on the channel. But yeah, I'm not complaining. I just, um, just wanted to point that out, that the giveaway is not going to be real, real soon, so that you guys didn't get your hopes up, those of you that do watch. Um, yeah. So that was fun. It, I texted my roommate and I was like, holy packages, and I sent her a picture. Because um, we don't get up at the same time usually, so, and we usually just hang in our rooms until we feel like coming out, which is usually around dinner time. We're so weird. Um, but anyway, um, I texted her and I was like, holy packages, and sent a picture of all the boxes. Because um, one was a diamond art club, um, one was the book outlet, and then the Amazon package. And she was like, it's Christmas. <laughs> it was funny. I was like, basically, except I know what I got, but yeah, so, um, speaking of packages, we'll just keep going, so yeah, um, book outlet is a lot of Deborah Muller, a lot of Zen Doodle, actually all Zen Doodle, except for one, which is color by number, 
Um, and then we have um, sorry guys focusing our hair um, and then I got my Amazon books which uh, I caved and got World of Mice and then I got a couple Camellia Anglicova which I think is how you say your name I got her books so if you guys are interested I've been thinking about doing which I think I'm gonna do it anyway and see if um, anybody participates but I want to do Anglicova in August as a color along um, it just sounds fun I just want to do it so I'm going to and we'll see what happens if nobody participates nobody participates it's I'm not real concerned I just want to put it out there on Instagram um, Facebook wherever and have some fun coloring with you guys if you guys have those books so I might try to get a co-host I'm very anxious person so when I ask people for things even if they're simple like that I get very nervous that they're gonna like hate me and shun me <laughs> so but I don't think that's gonna happen I just I want to be I don't want to be pushy you know I don't want to like I was watching Mrs. Coffee's live today I was re-watching it and self-promotion is just like ugh and you have to get your name out there somewhere, yes, but you don't have to do it on somebody else's live. And she obviously frowns upon that, and I do too. And I'm a new YouTuber, but I want to grow my channel honestly and come by my subscribers honestly. I don't want to, I don't want any handouts. Help is fine if they want to help. I don't want any handouts. I want to work hard for what I get. And if it gets me nowhere, whatever, at least I'm having fun. <laughs> So yeah, so anyway, back to the packages. I got a few Camellia Angle Cova, and then I got a Diamond Art Club. And that Diamond Art Club was from last week's um, new releases. It is Micah Jelena, who you might be familiar with from coloring. Let's see, yep, I got streaks. It's okay. It's fine. He's a dolphin. Um, and so it is Camellia Angle Cova. We're going to go in here with some orange. Do these clown, they look like clownfish to me, so we're going to do them as clownfish. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about those books. They're so cute. Um, yeah. And I've learned, and I've talked to you guys about this, that I really like using my markers. So that's probably what I'm going to use in those books. Um, ooh, this one's juicy. It's bleeding. That's okay. Um, yeah. So I'm excited about those. And then the Diamond Art Club box. Gosh. I thought I would be organized today because I have so much to talk about, but apparently not. <laughs> um, I got Meridia from the last Diamond Art Club release. And even more exciting, you guys, I freaking cannot wait. And I really hope it comes a day early like Meridia did and is here tomorrow. Um, you guys, I was on Rachel Ray's channel and she hit 10,000 subscribers. And if you don't know Rachel Ray, she's a diamond painter. She's awesome, please go check her out. I'll link her down below. Um, and so I was on her channel and I don't know if it was before I started this channel, but I'm still new. Um, so I probably won't enter too many more giveaways, but because I don't think it's fair for YouTubers to do that, but I did enter that one because she was giving away five Diamond Art Club paintings. And I'm not saying this at all to brag. I'm saying it because I was so, so excited about it. So she was giving away, let me see if I can think of all the ones that, well, she, okay, so she was um, collaborating with Diamond Art Club to give these away. Um, I'm gonna do light orange on them because I don't want them to just be gray like that. I think this is light orange, yeah. Um, so it's my variation of a clownfish. Um, Diamond Art Club said, hey, I want to help you do your 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Congratulations, yada yada. So they gave five diamond paintings away. Five. Um, it was, I believe, the new releases from last time, which was Call of the Wild, um, Meridia, which I, I bought because I was like, I'm not waiting 
for the giveaway. I want this one. Um, Sugar Plum Fairy by Mandy Manzano. Um, trying to remember, and I, I want to say Mother. That was five. One, two, three, four. I want to say it was Mother Nature by Hannah Lynn. And I can't remember the last one. I can't for the life of me, guys. But her video is still up, so you can go over and look at which ones if you really want to know. Um, so I put in, so her way of doing it was like, okay, put your first and second choice. So I did, and I said, um, Sugar Plum Fairy is my favorite because she was. Um, it was, she's just gorgeous, and she's the Sugar Plum Fairy, and I'm a dancer, so holds a special place in my heart. Let's go with olivine. Let's see what color that is. I can't even find it on my swatch chart. Where are you? <laughs> what color are you? I can just scribble it out here. Pale olive. What did I want this for? The eel. Uh, eh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Mm. Maybe for his fins. We'll do his fins this color. Um, can you still see? Yeah. Okay. So I was like, oh, Sugar Plum Fairy is my favorite and Meridia is my second favorite, but I spelled it wrong. <laughs> so then when she did the giveaway, I was watching. Well, actually, I wasn't watching her video first. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, like people are going to win. Cool. I get this email from Diamond Art Club. Your order is confirmed. And I was like, um, excuse me. <laughs> this is like Wednesday. Yeah, she does her whipping chats on Wednesday. This is like Wednesday evening. And I'm like, I didn't order anything from Diamond Art Club. The last thing I ordered was last Saturday. And I already got that confirmation email. What is going on? I was like, poop on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying not to swear and thinking about what to say. Um, who got my credit card information from Diamond Art Club um, and has ordered a bunch of stuff. And then I look at it and I'm like, that painting's not out yet. And I went, <gasps> like, like Mrs. Coffee says, I needed my inhaler. <laughs> and yes, I do have asthma as well. And I was like, oh, no, I did not. I never win anything anything so I just put in because I wanted to and to say like what my favorite paintings were but guys I won Sugar Plum Fairy I didn't have to pay a thing I got her and she will be here probably before most people's will be to them and I can't wait to share her with you you guys Mrs. Coffee did her sneak peek and I didn't even watch it because I want to be surprised I saw one color because it was on her thumbnail but you oh my god you guys I am just like I'm shaking right now I am so, so excited. And again, this is not to brag. This is just because I don't ever, this never happens to me, you, you guys. Okay. One other time something amazing happened and we're going to talk about it because I have the opportunity to, um, right now. But yeah, I was, I'm super excited. So I'm really, really, really hoping that they'll be here tomorrow. And you may even see that unboxing video before you see the, um, uh, finished pages because I can't wait for Sugar Plum Fairy. I, I can't wait to unbox it. As soon as she gets here, I'm unboxing both of them and at least filming them. If I don't put them up, I'll schedule them for another time to go up. But, um, but yeah, no, I can't, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Ooh, Beetle, that might actually, oh no, that's real, real dark. That'll take all the grayscale out of him and I don't want to do that. I think that's the one I just used. I'm just picking colors from the bag and then looking at the swatch chart at this point. Um, but anyway, yeah, I can't wait. So this is probably going to be a pretty long color in chat. I'm already like not even close to where I wanted to be with her, but oh well, it's okay. Petit pois. Yeah, let's use this color. I like this color. Um, so the other time that I want something, I didn't even really win it because it wasn't a giveaway. Um, that looks similar now, but I think it'll dry lightly. Um, so my roommate from grad school and I 
we got along really, really well. We were, we're still good friends. Um, we still talk. She comes down every once in a while and we hang out. Um, I shouldn't say every once in a while, but when she comes to Florida, <laughs> we are going to try to hang out. Um, she was down last year, but anyway, we were, uh, sitting any chance. Sorry. I'm just thinking any chance I get to tell this story, I tell it. So we were sitting in our dorms one day. She went to get in the shower. I was sitting doing homework. <clears throat> and so we were in a quad basically. So like there was a room here. You can't see my hands. There was like a room here and then our room was over here. And then we all four of us shared a bathroom. So <clears throat> she was like, I'm going to get in the shower. And I was like, okay, cool. We left our bedroom door open and, um, so, uh, she listened to, she still does. <laughs> she listens to music in the shower. Um, and so I just had my door open. I was doing homework and I heard, I think it was, why should I worry from Oliver and company? Yeah, we're going to use Brune. Oh no, terracotta. Why? 826. Um, so we were... I was just sitting there listening to it. I love that song, and I love Billy Joel. Like, he is one of my favorite artists of all time because I grew up with him. Like, my parents listened to Billy Joel, and I just love the music. Him and Elton John, but more Billy Joel because that's what we listen to. So she's listening to this song, and then more Billy Joel songs come on, and I'm like, oh, my God, no way. Like, <laughs> she's a Billy Joel fan, too. So I said to her, um, when she came out of the shower, I was like, oh my gosh, you like Billy Joel? And she was like, yeah, um, I do. And I was like, it has been my dream to see him perform. Let's just keep going with the green theme here, y'all. Um, and she was like, you know, he comes to MSG, Madison Square Garden, uh, every month and he'll play there every month until he doesn't sell out anymore. And she lives in Long Island. That's the color I just used. Um... So she was like, we, let's look, let's buy tickets, let's go. Um, let's find a date, we'll go in the summer. Sea pine, I'm just gonna scribble it. Um, it's really dark. Let's go with chromium. This is hard to choose colors for kelp, why? Actually, let's just do it that color. I don't mind if the grayscale comes out of these. Um, so let's do it. Let's go. Let's find a date. We'll go in the summer when we're off. You can come up and let's go. So we decided on July 5th um, was going to be the date. This was like mid-March of 2016 or something. Um, so we're going to go. Okay, cool. We buy the tickets. Um, we're up in the freaking nosebleed seats, which is fine. We don't care. We just want to be there. Just see him perform. So I go up for the, for 4th of July weekend. I spend the weekend with her. Um, I guess, I think, I don't know, whatever day. The 5th rolls around and we are pumped. We get ready. We head out. We go into the city for a while. We go have dinner and we're like, okay. And I know this sounds really boring, but I promise it gets better. We're like, okay, what do we do? Do we want to go like hang around MSG or Times Square real quick and then we both decided no let's just go to the venue um the venue Madison Square Garden let's just go we'll get in early we'll get our souvenirs we'll get our drinks we'll hang out um so we'll just chill until the show starts cool <laughs> so we go Sorry, I'm still thinking about colors for this picture. So we go, we grab our souvenirs. We're standing around for a while until they actually open the seating areas. They finally do. We go up millions of flights of stairs and we're some of the first ones up there. So there's this guy standing there and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, he was cute. <laughs> so I was just being nice and I just smiled at him. I was like, hey, he looked like security. So I was just like, I just smiled. And he goes, hey guys, how many are in your party? And I was like, just two. He was like, here, take these. And he hands me these tickets. And I just thought they were vouchers um, for like food or something. And April was ahead of me and she's like halfway down the corridor and I had stopped to talk to this guy. 
So I catch up with her and I'm like, hey, this guy just gave us these. And she goes, well, what are they? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> they were free. I took them. I was like, they're probably just food vouchers or something. She was like, well, let's go back and ask. So we go back and I'm like, hey, what are these? And the guy goes, well, they're, they're better seats. Do you, you, do you want them? I'll take them back. And like, he was just joking with us. And I was like, no, <laughs> you're not taking them back. I'm going to zoom out for you guys since I'm down at the bottom here. What's wrong way? Um, I was like, no, you're not going to take them back. Um, so we go and I'm looking at the ticket now as we're walking, I'm actually looking at it. And I like smack her. I'm like, April, <laughs> this says floor seating. <laughs> I was like, and at this point now we're like, oh my God, oh my God. So we find the next usher and we're like, we got these. Can you tell us where to go? And he goes, what are you guys doing up here? You have floor seating. And we just kind of like freaked out. And like, he knew that we were gonna freak out when he said that. Um, so he was like, go down, take the elevator all the way down, and um, you'll be directed further. So, okay, cool. So we're like, oh my god, like I can't believe this just happened. And um, we go down the elevator, and there's the freaking floor. So we see where we're going, and we're like, okay, well, let's just ask again where we're going, because we don't know what's going on. So we find the next security guard, usher guy, and we're like, okay, we just, we're like, we just got these, we don't know where we're going. And he goes, okay, well, you're gonna go through these doors here, but first you're gonna go in there and you're gonna enjoy some food and drink. Guys, we were, we had VIP tickets, basically. They were giving out VIP tickets to people, well, okay, Billy Joel was, not they, um, but apparently this is a thing that he does. We got free food, we had just eaten, but we ate more because it was free. We got, like, it was crazy. It was like a carnival in there, like, cotton candy. We felt so out of place. Um, cotton candy, candy. Like, we just stocked up, because why not? Um, I don't think we ended up drinking anything at all, because we were too excited. Um, and we're standing there, and she's like, hug me, hug me. <laughs> we, oh my god, guys, it was the best experience ever. So then we head down, we get our seats, um, we go... We sit, we, we're talking with people around us who this also happened to. Um, and then the security guy comes over, talks to our entire section. It's like, okay guys, when you hear the whistle for Allentown, you guys can run up to the stage. So we were literally right there. I touched his hand, guys. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about this. It was the best experience of my life, the best. So between that and winning Sugar Plum Fairy, my life has been made. <laughs> Anyway, that's just a really fun story. I didn't even plan to talk about that today, but we had to. I love that story, and like I said, any time I get the chance to tell it, I tell it. Because the odds, I think I did the math at one point, and it was like 0.00025% of that happening. Crazy. Nothing like that ever happens to me, <laughs> except for that and winning Sugar Plum Fairy. Holy crap, man, like that was amazing best night ever um yeah <laughs> so that went way off track but yeah there's no way we're fin finishing this picture on camera guys but I'm gonna shoot for a longer color and chat today because I want to chat with you guys and tell you about my week that was a huge detour but it's fine so well we'll see because I, I have a few things to talk about um, so yeah, other than winning, but yeah, I can't wait for them to get here. Well, her to get here. My Meridia is already here. I haven't unboxed her. I promise. Um, but yeah, so that was freaking amazing. <laughs> freaking amazing. Now I'm on that. But back to this week. Um, what did I do? I still, I take classes. I think I took. Well, maybe I didn't, but I still take classes over Zoom. Yeah, I did. So I, was, I didn't take class on Wednesday because I had a massive headache. Um, so I didn't take class then. I took class Friday, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I'll have class again this week. 
Between then, I mostly colored, I think. What did I color this week? I colored lots of mandalas from the Black Edition. Um, for the, the finishes video, you guys, it's going to be mostly color by number. And I hope that doesn't bore you, but I do, I, I'm still going to show them anyway, even if it does. You don't have to watch the video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. So that's another reason why I wanted to do a Chibi Girls picture, because I wanted something else to show other than color by number. But they have really been my, like, happy place this month. So next month, hopefully, it'll be different. Um, I debated on doing a Hannah Lynn picture, but I actually just joined her Patreon this week. So um, when June 3rd rolls around, uh, there's different tiers, tiers to her Patreon, but I believe every tier, I just pay the $5 one. I'm not rich friends. Um, and you get prints of a new picture, an exclusive picture. So I want to wait and do that one with you guys next week. It is very cute for June. And you get access to her um, VIP group on Facebook. So that's why I know what it is because she showed it on her Facebook. Or a sketch of it. I don't know the com what the complete image will be. But I'm very excited about that. I am coloring off camera. I apologize. Um, and I know the book is crooked, but that's the only way that I could not get my arm in the way, you guys. I'm sorry if that bothers you. But most people don't totally watch color and chats anyway, so I'm not too concerned. You usually just look up, see what I'm doing, and look back down at whatever you're doing. At least I hope you're working on something. Or cleaning, or whatever. Let me know down below what you're working on, or if you're cleaning, or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, so I joined her Patreon. That was an exciting thing that happened this uh, this week. I was just like, you know what, why not? And then I got an email. So why did I go onto her site? What did I? Last week, I went onto her site and I did something. What did I do that led me to that page? I don't know if I bought something. I downloaded some I must have downloaded something and it took me to a page like um it was like you can get this this and this book and I can't remember I know it was mythical maidens um the Halloween book I can't remember which order they came in girls at work no I don't know but and then the other day I got an email from Hannah Lynn's site oh I signed up for the email that's what it was and then it was like you can get four books for $18, and I was like, hell to the yeah, excuse my language, but hell yeah, <laughs> like, eight, those books run for about eight, nine dollars each, so if I can get four for 18, they're PDF versions, they aren't, um, they are not, um, book books, paperback books, but that's fine, I, I don't mind, I like my, tin, not tin tan paper, my cardstock, um, so I was like, heck yeah. And then I got an email the other day from her about downloading the 14 free images on her site. So I was like, I have them. Well, I had them. Um, they're printed on printer paper right now, which isn't the best, but it does. But I was like, I'm going to download them again. Um, and then I can have them in my folder with the other handlings that I just got. And then another one popped up that was like, you can get these four books for $16. And I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> um, and it was four different books. So I have eight of her books now, guys. And I only, I didn't pay as much as I would have paid had I either gotten them as a gift or gotten the actual paperback books. So I'm like, th I think she's got 14 books. So I'm pretty close to having her whole collection. I mean, other than artist editions and all that, but that's okay. Um, so I'm, I'm stoked about that. There's so much seaweed. Well, that's her fin. Okay, after I do the seaweed, I promise I'm gonna go back to her. Um, but yeah, I was like, holy crap, all the heck yes. So those, that was exciting this week. Um, and then yesterday was a fun day. We, me and my roommate, um, well, I got up, probably laid in bed for a while. <laughs> Um, and then I was like, I was doing, what? I don't even know how I got on it, but I started cleaning my room and I started organizing my coloring supplies and I started organizing my diamond paintings, which by the way, a coloring supplies and book 
um, my complete collection video is coming. That seems to be the new thing nowadays, which I didn't mean to like jump on the bandwagon because I had to. I planned to do this video sooner, but it's okay. I don't. I don't mind. Um, so I started cleaning out my drawers, kind of. I didn't get very far, but I started to go through my diamond paintings because I had them on my floor. Some of them were on my floor, and I was like, first of all, I need to send this one out to a friend. I need to get this one to a friend, and I need to get this one to my grandma. So I picked them up off the floor. Most of them were my diamond art clubs that I had laying out, which they really don't need laying out, which I, I have learned. Um, but I didn't know that at the time, and then I things got weird, so... I didn't pick them back up, but I put them back in their boxes yesterday because I was like, I'm not going to work on this one, these for a while. I have my Pony Ladybird to finish, and then once Sugar Plum Fairy gets here, it's freaking game on. <laughs> I'm not waiting to do that one. I wanted to do my Rapunzel one as my first Mandy Manzano, but mm, no. Um, it's going to be Sugar Plum Fairy, and she's around. You guys, she's a round drill. I can't believe it. I'm so freaking stoked. Um, and there's another piece of kelp. Dang. Um, sorry, my brain went all Dory quite literally because I'm finding Dory. She's like, kelp. Kelp is good. And that just popped into my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, what was I saying? I got distracted by saying kelp. Oh my god, you guys. Um, okay, yeah, so I was going through my diamond paintings and I was like, wow, I have done a lot. And they, it's, I probably won't show them because they're from Amazon. I know one was a copyrighted image that I didn't know at the time, so I can't show that one because it is the Diamond Art Club, and I, I didn't know it, guys. I did not know it. Um, and we'll get back to, back to that topic today, too, hopefully. Um, I guess I can talk about it now because I talked a little bit about it in my unboxing, but I had somebody come at me. I don't, I'm not going to dwell on it, but I had somebody, like, come at me um, for making a post in mrs coffee's group i want i just for myself i wanted to know what companies license their images because i want to buy non-stolen work i know what it's like to pour your blood sweat and tears into something and not have somebody steal it but i know what it's like to have that creative process and then um it would be really sad if somebody took it i'm gonna go back to my um i almost said tea who's um you can't even see this uh, my touch news and I'm gonna go with this purple color for her hair um, which is called pale blue it is not blue <laughs> there it is let's hope that it's not dry and let's go with the chisel oh no oh, okay she dry dang I really like that color poop all right, let's go with the next best thing and let's go with mauve shadow then because that's my favorite color from the um, Cali Arts. So we're going to go with mauve shadow. Um, but yeah, I had somebody come at me. I just made a post about, hey, like what are, oh, her ear is not colored. Whoops. Um, what are the ones that, um, and it wasn't that bad, but it really made me annoyed. Um, what companies license their images basically so I got a bunch and then somebody was like well it's silly isn't it and I said I don't think it's silly I don't think that it's okay to steal people's work you put your blood sweat and tears in blah I didn't go into all that but I was like no I don't think it's silly um I was like you can do whatever you want but I don't think it's silly and then she came back at me with something and then I was like okay I already said that you can do what you want um but I would appreciate if you stopped commenting on my post and she comes back at me with, um, it's a free world, sweetie. And I was like, okay. And that's literally what I replied. I was like, I'm done with you. Didn't need that drama this week. And it wasn't really that bad. It just really, really, it peeved me because she just wasn't willing to listen. And I don't like that about some people. But it's okay. If she wants to steal people's work, it's on her. I just don't think it's okay. And I know Mrs. Coffee frowns upon it, but I didn't want to give her and Rachel more issues. They've already been dealing with people stealing their work. So I, mm -mm. and I bounced the idea off of somebody that was also commenting on the post and had my back. 
Um, and she was like, no, don't report it. And I was like, okay, I won't, I'll get over it. And I, I actually had blocked the woman and then I unblocked her because I wanted to make sure that she wasn't, I, this is going to sound awful, but I'm going to watch and see if anybody posts anything like that again, if she's still commenting. And then the thing that gets me, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be dramatic, but it really, I want to talk about it. <laughs> you can skip over this part if you want. Um, but the thing that gets me is then she was commenting on people's posts who were giving away their diamond art clubs or selling their diamond art clubs and wanting them. And I'm like, you are being hypocritical. You just want the painting for free. <laughs> Spend the money if you want it. Oh, it made me mad. I'll shut up now. I apologize, guys. Get off my soapbox. Get off your soapbox, Shana. But yeah, oh, that made me mad. So that's what I was doing in the morning yesterday. Um, I was chatting with another woman from the group that was helping me out. And then I started cleaning up and uh, back to the my diamond paintings. So I do have some before I knew about all the artist stuff. I just, I don't know why I didn't realize because it would be the same if you stole somebody's artwork from a coloring book. And I don't know why, like, I didn't realize these images weren't licensed. So anyway, um, I was going through and I was just cleaning up. I put um, the one for my friend back in a box and I'm going to send that out hopefully here soon or at least send it to my mom back home and then she can get it to her. Um, so I did that and then I found one that again is probably not a licensed image. Um, I haven't done my research on that image in particular. I spent like hours that day that that lady was getting on me researching and like copying and clipping and putting into the search engines and stuff to see what images were stolen and which weren't. Obviously I know my Diamond Art Club aren't but the ones that I have from other sites. But I won't get too much more into that. We can talk about that in a dime painting video or something, but, um... Oh gosh, lost my train of thought. Sorry, my hand's in the way again. Um... Yeah, so I spent a good majority of my time researching that. Then I grabbed the painting from my... Well, I grabbed out all of my paintings that are done, and I was like, do I want to keep these? Do I want to frame them? Do I just want to put them up? So I have some acrylic paint, and I think I've only got one color. <laughs> I thought I had two. I thought I had a black or a dark green or something, but I can't find it. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to paint the outside of this painting for my grandma. So I did that and that came out really cool. Um, I just painted over like where the schematics and stuff are. So it took a couple coats. It took most of the day and I'm going to have to go back over it because then um, I sealed the painting again. I thought I had done it before, but drills were still coming off. Um, so I sealed it again. So, and I got glue where the paint is. So I'm going to have to re repaint over at least the edge, which is fine. It doesn't take that long and acrylic paint dries quickly, but I want to get that bagged up. But then I was like, Oh goodness, I just bled into her skin. And then I was like, what am I going to do with these? I don't have the space to hang all of them. I do want to hang a lot of them, especially my diamond art clubs, but what am I going to do in the meantime until I can get frames? So I went out, we went out yesterday, we needed a bunch of stuff, so we went to Target, we went to, and I know I said I wasn't going to go out that much, but you know what guys, we're being safe, we wash our hands, we sanitize every time we get in the car, um, we needed to get things, so that's the only thing that you can do. I am really being messy because I'm chatting. But, oh well, it's okay. I'm going to try to go over the dolphin again anyway. Um, and I'm practicing with my chisel tip, so it's bound to happen. Um, yeah, so we went out. We went to Target first. We needed a shelf for right behind me, actually. Um, but we needed a specific one because our vent is right there and we can't block the vent. So we needed one with some, like, holes and stuff. There's going to be freaking line right there because I forgot um so yes so we went and got that shelf we did go to Starbucks because it was open but we didn't drink in the store we waited till we got to our cars washed our hands all that good stuff um it's okay <laughs> 
they were all wearing masks. Um, so yeah, we went out, we did that. What else did we get at Target? We got command hooks, because that's the other thing. When I was looking through my paintings, I wanted to hang them up. Oh, and we also finished her puzzle, which I will um, insert a picture either here or at the end um, of that, because that came out really cool. Um, so we wanted to get command hooks to hang that up, um, and then I was like, I, so before we left, I measured some of my diamond paintings, and I was like, I want to frame these ones, and I also have, um, like, art from some Disney artists that came for Festival of the Arts that I want to, to do. So let's do her tail next, and I want to do her tail in this pale, pale green, spectrum green, six, uh, no, G401. Um, there it is. So, <clears throat> do I want to do her tail tail or do I want to do her fins? Oh, this is hard. I wanted to do her in pastels. I think I want to do her tail tail and do her fins a little darker. Okay. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, so frames. So I wanted to frame some actual artwork and I wanted to frame some of my diamond paintings. So we got the measurements for those. Didn't find anything in Target for frame-wise. They were too expensive. So we went to, next we went to Joann's. We went to Joann's actually last week too and I got some um, rhinestones from Diamond Dots. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that little aside in there. And we're, oh my gosh. Oh no, we're only at 101. Okay, I thought we were at an hour and a half already. Um, but yeah, so I got some, so, I had decided I'm gonna buy an artist portfolio to put my diamond paintings in, um, just to keep them safe until I can frame them or do whatever I'm gonna do with them. Um, so I had a 50% off coupon, so I got this giant, sorry, I was turning the book, this giant artist portfolio, and it is perfect. But while we were there, we looked at frames, and they have some actually really good ones for a very good price, about eight to nine dollars or nine to ten dollars um for 11 by 17 which is what i needed um now of course bigger frames are going to be more expensive but they had a really good deal they were 50 percent off so we're probably going to go back sometime and get frames and then we had to go to walmart so we went to walmart and it was <laughs> it poured down rain while we were there um luckily we were inside while it was pouring but we <laughs> That was an interesting experience because we needed groceries, but we also needed, um, again, like command hooks, which we didn't get to Target, we got at, which we call Walmart. Um, so we did that, got those, but we were like running through the store because when we got there, they were like, they made an announcement about the time and I was like, oh crap, do they close at eight? And um, so, we were like running, it was pretty funny, we were like running through the store and then they made an announcement they were at, at about 8 and it was like, you've got a half an hour or whatever. And we were like, oh my god, we just ran through the store. <laughs> Gosh. So, yeah, that was a good time. What's this one? Seacrest. Ooh, that might be good. Or do I want to do the turquoise? No. Press green. Or do I want to do pale green or do I want to do mint blue? I think I don't want to oversaturate her with color. What color, guys? <laughs> I know you can answer me. No. Um, but yeah, so we got butt cushions. I'm sitting on butt cushion right now for sitting at the table and doing puzzles and doing this. Um, so that's nice. But yeah, we were running around a lot yesterday, so it was kind of nuts. So, I'm just gonna finish her tail, guys, and then I'm gonna let you go. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to talk to you about. Talk to you about Hannah Lynn. I talked to you about. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do, friends. Oh, oh yes, I do. I'm gonna do a niece, and it's gonna be. Oh, it's not gonna clash. No. 
think it might be okay. I think I'm gonna do it. And if I don't like it, it's a light enough color that I can go over. So we're gonna do a niece, which is like a very, very, I think it's yellow, but it's under the green category. It's gonna be this one right here. You can't see me, there we go. That one, that light yellow green color. We're gonna do that. Why? Mine are two. I just had this one out yesterday. Shouldn't be far, but they travel, I swear. But yeah, so we, there it is. We did that yesterday and that was a lot of fun. Um, running around, running through Walmart. You weren't really running, but we were booking it because we thought we had no time. Um, yeah. I think tonight, once I finish this picture, I'm going to do my nails. I need to get this color off and also look at how far out they're growing. They need to be redone. Um, and I do them myself. So not sponsored, not affiliated. Not sponsored, not affiliated with anything that I've mentioned. Just to be transparent with you guys. Um, I wouldn't think any of you would think that I was, but I'm not. Um, 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 um. I use this company called Peppy Gel. Um, mostly. I use their liquids, but I also use um, Sparkle and Company. Um, and these are dip powder companies. So you do your own nails. It does take some practice, but I really, really love it. And I can link their um, shop below. Um, but you, it's basically like painting your nails and then you dip them into a powder. And then they come out and they are hard as a rock. They're awesome. Um, I love them. I had broken this nail right here. Um, you probably can't see, but it's broken up there, but it was broken way down. So I put um, Peppy Gel on it to make it stronger. So I think I'm going to redo my nails today. So next time you see a video, um, they are probably going to be a different color. And I don't know what color at all yet, So, but they're going to change. Um, but yeah, I love that company. I love doing my nails. Oh, my tummy ground. I haven't eaten today yet, guys. So, it has been a fun, it's been a, an eventful week, considering. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I don't think I told you last time. Because I don't think it was out last time, but maybe it was. I don't know. Um, I get to go, hopefully, because they're doing it by seniority of cast members. But there's a date for us to go back, and it is July 15th to go back to work. Um, so one more month of unemployment, and then I don't have to deal with it ever again, I hope. Um, so I get to go back to work, and I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm going to complain while I'm there and complain after, but I am really am excited to go back to work. I just need... I actually really like that color. Um, I just need to not stress anymore. <laughs> and I've been trying not to, but it's it's hard. Yeah. Take a time to breathe real quick. So yeah, we did have a lot to talk about today, guys. Yay. I'm trying to think of something to talk about to the very end. Because I kind of want to go a little longer. I don't know if you guys like long videos or not. I do, because I like to just put them on and work along with them. Um, yeah. Let's see. One second, because I can stop right here and it won't make too much of a line, I don't think. Oh, wait got down here. So yeah, I'm still learning with these. Um, again, this uh, book is printed on Amazon paper, so it sucks the juice right out of your markers, so they do bleed pretty good. Um, I was watching, um, again, Michelle at Kits and Caboodles, and I started to say this earlier and then got sidetracked, and she did Alice in Wonderland grayscale. 
and was giving tips and stuff. So, um, yeah, she was talking mostly about the paper and all that, and um, you don't want to choose too dark of colors if you really want the grayscale to come through, all that fun stuff. So that was a fun video. Did learn a little bit. Did learn some from that. I didn't mean to, for that to sound like derogatory or anything. I learned a lot from her. But, yeah, that was cool. So, blender to the rescue. Oh, did I put it back? What did I, where'd it go? Did it roll away? What in the heck? Oh no, I put it back in the bag. My bad. I've got some weed out out here. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with these bubbles. I really don't know. But yeah, if you want to see more grayscale um, coloring like this, I'm going to direct you towards Kits and Caboodles. Um, and if I can remember, I'll link all these channels, but I'm, I might not remember. Um, Kits and Caboodles, um, A Colorful Life, and um, the Bibliophile Colorist. He just did a very, very cool um, image of, I almost said Cheshire Cat, but not Cheshire, the Mad Hatter. Um, a really cool image with him. Um, so, yeah, um, he did like, he split the page in half and did like this half green and this half purple and it came out really cool. Um, so yeah, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> hmm, let's see, what color do I want to do her little coral bra? I do like how she's coming, coming along. And I'll zoom you guys out the whole way and show you the whole picture then. But I want to do her a little bra quick. I don't know what color to do it because, I, again, I don't want to over, overdo the picture here with color. But it is an under the sea scene, so it's going to be pretty bright. Do I stick with the colors of her tail or the colors of her hair? I kind of want to go with purple, but I kind of want to go with green. Purple and green? Do you like those colors together? Hmm. That is really hard right now. Let me know what you guys would do down below. I'm going to make a decision, but I just want to know what you guys, how you guys would color that. I think I'm going to go this color. I think it's lavender. No, this is hydrangea, which is a purple, but I don't know how dark that purple is. Where is it? Okay, it's kind of like a bluish purple. That might actually be okay. And then green on the inside. Hmm. Struggle bus, friends, struggle bus. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Or do I do blue? Ah, so many color choices. Because if I do pink, I feel like it's going to blend in too much. If I do green, it's too matchy-matchy. If I do purple, it's almost too matchy-matchy. Okay, let's do this hydrangea on the outside. And then, or do I want to do lavender blue? No, let's do hydrangea. Let's do this on the outside and then hopefully something will come to me. Okay, yeah, I do like that. Again, it's gonna dry lighter, but I like that for now. Um, oh gosh, I don't even remember what I was talking about before. Oh, just grayscale. But yeah, these are fun. They work up super quick. Um, well, not super quick. Obviously, we've been here for an hour and 15 minutes and I'm not even really halfway done. Oh, I missed a piece of her hair. Gotta go back for that. Um, yeah. So, but pretty quick. Pretty quick. If you use alcohol marker, you could spend days on this if you'd like. I haven't used my Prismas or any pencils on Amazon paper in a while because I've been working in Fairy Miracles. Well, been working on. Liar. <laughs> I started <laughs> in Fairy Miracles and haven't picked up my pencil since. Um, except for, for my Deborah Muller witch, but she was on, not on Amazon paper. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 I can get down with that. Um, I think I'm gonna go lavender blue on the inside. Yep. R913. Um, so yeah, I just, ugh. Yeah, I haven't worked with my pencils on Amazon paper in quite a while. I'm debating on if I want to go over, um, her in pencil, but I don't think I do, because I, I like adding other embellishments, like gel pen and stuff, like on this page. Um, all of this glint and stuff is just, let me turn you guys this way. Which way? That way. Sorry, friends. Um, all of that's just gel pen, all those accents, and... Nope, that is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's marker. So yeah, I just had fun with that one, but um, they come out pretty good by themselves, so I don't really mess with them too much once they're done. R913, where are you? Not usually that, there it is. Um, but yeah, they're really, really fun. I really do enjoy these pages. I haven't done one, like I said, in forever. I haven't colored in, um, anything but color by number really so trying to trying to break that I do want to do more regular pictures next month um, I'm still going to do some color by number um, I'm aiming for at least one Joanna Basford because somebody's doing a color along for that and I don't remember the name of the color along uh, actually I think it's Summer of Johanna and actually I have it right here beside me yeah hashtag Summer of Johanna and Magical Johanna Basford Month. So that's Color Creatively, and then Summer of Johanna is Grace's World. Um, I've got a lot written down here. Uh, and then Crayola in June is John at the Bibliophile Colorist. So, yeah, let's do the rest of her hair here. That's not, that's not the right color. That's, I need mauve shadow. My favorite back. Um, yeah. So I do want to do some pictures with Crayola. I want to do a Johanna Bassard, which I may try, try my Crayola pencils in. We'll see. Um, if you watch the haul video, you know I've got those. I just got an email or something. Um, so yeah, lots of Crayola next month. Um, hopefully less color by number. I want to do, like I said, a Hannah Lynn. I'd like to do um, a Johanna Bassard, maybe start an Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Yeah, so. Alrighty, friends, I'm running out of things to talk about, so I am going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you, new subscribers. I love you guys. Um, if you watch this video, if you like this video, please comment down below. Um, like the video. It does help out my channel. It helps other people find me. Um, and if you'd like to support me, I would really appreciate that. I'm going to zoom all the way out here for you guys. You can see the picture here. Um, I do like how she's coming along. If I finish her by the time this video gets edited, I will post the picture at the end like I did last time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, um, and share whatever else you want to do um, if you like this video. Thank you guys so much. Um, again, I've got a packed week for you guys, so hopefully I can um, get all those videos out. I don't want to bombard you guys. That's the other thing. I don't want to like slam all the videos at you at once. So, um, let's just take it slow. I'm going to try to do three videos a week. When I go back to work, it's probably, I'm, I'm probably going to have to cut back, um, unfortunately, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll post the finished picture. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with her, but hopefully I can get her done so she can be for Mermaid. Um, yeah. I will stop talking now. I will let you guys go. Thank you again. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.